In this video, we're going to cover learning objectives A and B. Uh, B is the first one. We're going to identify if an equation is a polynomial function and then write them in standard format. So what a polynomial is, uh, an example would, might be y equals 7x cubed minus 5x squared plus x plus 3. Uh, this is considered a polynomial, and how you tell is you look where the, what the exponent is, and we can only have exponents that are positive whole numbers. By the way, x to the first here, that's a 1. And that 3 is fine. Um, so we have the highest exponent is a 3, the other is a 2, and a 1, and that's great. So that's considered a polynomial. Um, what would not be a polynomial would be something that looks like uh, y equals x to the negative 2 power. That's a problem because this is not a positive exponent. It's a whole number, but not a positive. Another one that might be an issue, uh, y equals x to the 1 half power. That's not a whole number, but it's positive, but it's not considered to be a polynomial. Um, another example that's not a polynomial would be like y equals 1 over x. Um, yes, 1 over x or y equals 1 over x squared looks like it might be a polynomial, but this x value must be on the top of the equation as we see over here. Now standard format just means that the polynomial must be written with the highest exponent first followed by the lowest exponents. Uh, so for example, what if I gave us this equation first? Uh, y equals negative uh, x plus 3x squared uh, plus 7x cubed minus 1. And they wanted it in standard format. So what I would look is the highest exponent is x cubed, so that comes first. The next highest is x squared, that comes second. This first one here is actually x to the first, so that would come third. And then we would follow up with this number, which we call the constant. So this would look like, in standard format, would be y equals 7x cubed plus 3x squared <clears throat> minus x minus 1. As we look at this one, we want to determine if it's a polynomial. Um, the highest exponent we see, we see a, a 2, we don't see one there, we see a 3. So the exponents are whole numbers and they're positive, so yes, this is a polynomial. And to put that in standard format, I would do f of x. Uh, the highest term first, so on this one it's x cubed, so it's 7x cubed. Then x squared is next, so it's plus 2x squared and then minus 1 is the standard format for that. So if we take a look at this one here, we're going to identify if it's a polynomial. If it is, we'll put it in standard format. So for this particular equation here, um, we can tell that the answer here would be no. The problem is this guy right here, that x to the negative 2 power is not a polynomial. If we look at equation C here, is this a polynomial? Now be careful, this is tricky. We're just looking at the x value. So here's x to the first, here's x squared. Uh, those meet the properties where the x's are on the top level. Um, the exponents are positive whole numbers, so that's good. Uh, so is this a polynomial? Yes, it is. Let's put it in standard format. So x squared is first, and be careful it owns a sign in front of it. So I'd write f of x equals negative 4x squared. And then it's that pi times x, and it's a plus, so I'm going to put plus pi x, and then I follow up with plus the square root of 5. This example here wants to know if it's a polynomial. Um, starting off, it looks really good. We have x cubed, we have x squared, and we have x to the first. However, this guy right here, uh, the exponent must be a number. Here the exponent is a variable, so no, this is not considered a polynomial.